safe, like, all of a sudden the boomerang comes back and combos into it like he already knew. <laughs> What's crazy, too, is that his another member of his crew, also, uh, Kairos, he means Young Link. Yeah. So, like, it's kind of interesting to see how they kind of have, like, those, you know, interactions with each other as well, especially being Young Link and Tilly. Uh, but like you mentioned earlier, right? One of those things about Tilly too, he's very underrepresented, and not only is he very underrepresented, he's also very underrated, in my opinion. Yeah. That character's got some stuff, man. Like people want to look at how fast Young Link is, or how like how much kill power uh, regular Link has. Don't mm -hmm. don't do that, Marco. Come on, we were just hyping you up, man. Don't do that, Marco. Don't do it, man. We were just hyping you up. Is he gonna go for it? I think I think Nito lost to. I can't remember. I, I remember him. I can't. Are we gonna do this? If they want to play it, they want to play it. I'll I'll let him play it. I'll right. let him, I'll let him lose Marco, we we were hyping up to him, Link, hyping up how good he is, and then he goes a little mad. I'll let him live a I'll, I'll let him live a life here the way he wants to. I mean, these two do play quite a bit, as far as yeah. I know. Uh, so they've played it enough times, maybe he actually just wants to try something new. Maybe it doesn't matter because they played a thousand times. What's one different set? Just have a good time with it. But either way, you know what? The Lil Mag is out here as well as Nido's Terry. We were talking about it earlier with Q's Terry, how it's so much fun to get to watch the new characters. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see what the difference is because uh, unlike uh, Q, Nido's actually still playing the Shotos in this game. Yeah. He still uses Ken every now and then, but he's but very it's not his main. Yeah, not his main. That was more my point. Nido mains the Shotos in this game. Mm -hmm. So he's still kind of playing the FGC characters a little bit. Gets the charge of me, and that's going to be the first stop. That was really good, too, because not only is he able to recover like a lot of that option there against Little Mac, he's able to just punish Little Mac for trying to go for a landing, too. Little Mac is no air fighter, and unfortunately, he's going to get caught by that charge for rising tackle. Yeah. All right, both, though, is there going to be an edge guard? He gets an up here. Interesting. Nice, because he out here for the power wave. Mac has to respect it too, because he can only shield or run into it, and he gets caught there by Buster Wolf. Unfortunately, oh he pulls the trigger a frame or two too early, so he hadn't aimed it yet. Doesn't get the strong hit. It's basically useless in here. Yeah, it is. Nice power wave to get him off the ledge, and he gets the grab, putting the Mac off the stage for the edge guard. No. Fun fact about Nito's Terry. At uh, Highlander Con, uh, he was playing against Razo. Was down 2-0 with Kent, switched to Terry and took the game. Yeah. Uh, didn't, didn't win the set, but it's something interesting that his Terry actually has some stuff that his Ken doesn't always have. Yeah. And when he nice. gets the double parry into a down smash, he is on top of Marvelous Marco right now. Uh, I was going to say, he's watching for the landing for two reasons. He doesn't want to get caught by down smash. Or he doesn't want to get caught by a beat. Yeah, and the other thing is, he can't, did he just grab KO Punch? He definitely I just grabbed the start of KO Punch. I question a lot of things, man, but that's a, there's a reason why Mac is still low tier. Yeah. I lost my train of thought. That, that was some... Oh, what I wanted to say is he can't snap to the ledge, so no. that's why we're seeing Marco look for all these down smashes. Yeah. Because unless he gets the charged version of the up B, then he's not going to be invincible on the way up, and he's just going to get two frames for free. Exactly, and then Nito understands that too as well, so he's been pretty good at avoiding it. Tried to go for an aerial on the disadvantage. I would have preferred to have seen the tech roll. No, he's good, he's good, he's good. He's going to have to go for it out. That was something else, just holding it for that what long. Is, I'm sorry, was that worth? Was that worth? Was that worth? <laughs> this man did the Smash 4 classic. That doesn't even instantly kill you in this game. I know you can make that bad. No. <laughs> this man really went for the Smash Wars Mac for Glory Tech, run offside B, and lost it all. All right, uh, there's two. Yeah, there it is. Thank we're, God. We're, we're going to a real match. Put the little Mac away. Yeah. It was fun while it lasted. Marvelous Mac is gone. All right, so here's the Toon League we were uh, hyping up a lot before the set started. <laughs> right? The one thing that, like, I feel that Link, all, all the Links kind of have against the Shotos, too, is their ability to kind of zone around them, but not only kind of have some of the space and the speed to also be able to do that, too, because you also need to be able to be as fast or even faster to kind of get around characters like Terry and Kim and Ryu. 
Nice jab trap, power dunk. Classic combo right here. That's 104% on Tomorrowless Marco. I like the use of the uh, the arrow just to force his way back on stage, making yeah. so Nito couldn't recover. And I like the fact that he does go for the Z drop on the bomb there, especially on the way back on the stage, because it is going to stop Nito from going for the rising tackle. Or Gorfring out of shield option too as well. Marco's got stage control here with the bomb. No confirmed just yet. He missed the back air. Marco just throwing out all these projectiles, staying in the air, does not want to land on top of Terry. Look, I was going to say, he's either looking for the forward air or the upper, especially that being at the ledge. All right, now this one is incredibly even right now. Marco has to be careful of all the go options as well as the just jab into the power dunk, but these forward air space so well on Nito's shield if Mary close out the first stop. And you, you mentioned earlier, too, he's going for a lot of these projectiles, too, because that's one thing that to look at all, actually, most of the links, except most of Link's can actually go for is confirms off the things like Boomerang, yeah. Bomb as well. And right there, that's two up he got because Nito got clipped by a Boomerang. Mm, and right there, he kind of lost a lot for going for Boomerang and allowed Nito to take care of that stock. Yeah, that was just a really smart idea from Nito because he jumped over it with the power dunk and was able to come down with such a strong kickoff. Nice. He waited for the Legend of the ability to run out. He goes for the forward tilt. He's got Nito on the bit of a back foot here. Nice, throws out a down smash. The auto cut gonna make sure it hits. Oh nice. no! Out of a double jump, but his, maybe he wasn't. I may have missed seeing that. The up for both Young Link and Link have a really high They range. go really far. Yeah, F tilt Buster Wolf, are you okay? He is, he's still alive. Alright, that's gonna Back be a bad throw. Get the stage control. Are we gonna see an edge guard? I don't expect it. Yeah, just gonna stay there and catches the jump with a power geyser. Power geyser catches a lot of the options. Honestly, the you have to be careful with the range too. The tail end of it is, is a bit of a sour spot. And he just be on another Buster Wolf just like it was nothing right there. Gets an F to to just for damage, honestly. Yeah. But the thing I wanted to point out was that like he was crouching there, so if he didn't neutral gear for something, he would have had to, you know, be afraid of a power uh, burning knuckle or the obvious power geyser. Yeah. Throwing at it just yet. I like the fact he's going for those arrows, trying to get Nido a little bit. He has the go online, but he's not going to pull the trigger. Oh, he went for Buster Wolf. We risked. No, he's good. He's good. He wanted to. Okay, so that was really good. I felt that like Marco wanted the match out so he could follow him up afterwards, but unfortunately he missed the timing on that one. Yeah, he didn't want to overextend himself. People don't really go for is like sometimes just laying them get out of the grab release puts them in a really awkward spot. It obviously isn't going to combo. Yeah. But like if. A lot of people will just mash a jump or something out of there, don't want to be there. If you call that out, like, that, that's a stock, man. Oh, no, that's so unfortunate. He didn't go back to the ledge and a double jab into the power dunk, and that's going to be a 2-0. Nito's still sitting there like, that wasn't game one. The little Matt game counted? <laughs> hey, man, this is bracket. This ain't, this ain't yeah. friendly. This is bracket.